Guys, this is a quick video. I'm, I'm putting this together just to show you guys how to uh, add the unstable version of the Mr. Operating System, the Mr. Main, uh, the Mr. OS, whatever you want to call it, uh, onto your Mr. FPGA. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I do tutorials of how to get new, uh, new unstable cores working on your Mr. FPGA, this is a prerequisite. So what I'm going to do is, in order to shorten the tutorials, I've just got this one out here. It's just a simple one showing you how to run the Mr. OS. So what I'll do in future is when I'm doing a tutorial, I'll say, guys, refer back to the video in the description and it will bring you to this video where it will show you how to um, how to install the unstable version of Mr. OS. It's, we're getting more and more unstable calls that are fun and well worth trying. And, you know, before they go to update all, it might be a month, it might be six months, it might be a year, or it, might be, it might even be longer. And sometimes it's really worth getting involved in the fun. So um, the easiest place to get the latest unstable Mr. Operating System from is the Mr. FPGA Discord server. Naturally, there will be an invite link in the description of the video. Uh, when you go over there, go to Unstable Nightlies. Now, if you can't see this, just make sure there's a, a thing here called uh, Channel and Roles. Make sure you go in there and, and you kind of select options of the stuff you're interested in. And there'll probably be one in there for feeds and test builds. And that's why that will show up. If it doesn't show up, you need to find an option in here that will show this uh, channel to you on the server because not everyone that wants to go on there wants access to that and you'll end up with like a hundred channels you know you might just want to keep your views simpler to the channels that you actually want to visit now when you go here what you're usually looking for is the the, the latest version of the mr os and it's usually just called this latest mr unstable build now Fortunate for us, when I'm doing this video, it is the latest core. But let's say, for example, the Commodore 64 was the latest one on here. Then you might have to go up a few and just keep going up until you find the latest Mr. Unstable build. So for us, it's this uh, this one over here. Now, I'm showing you the manual way to do it. There is a way of running a script. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but I'm doing this the manual way. Now, you cannot do this if you're connected over a network and your Mr. is on, because when you try and update the operating system, it will, it will give you a warning saying it's not it's it's in use and you can't update it so for this what i have done is i've taken out the sd card from my mr fpga and i have i've inserted it into my pc so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download that and now that that is downloaded i am going to minimize this and at the top i've got my downloads folder and at the bottom i've got my mr fpga sd card and the root of the sd card and if we go down here we're looking for a file it's just called mr the Mr. Mr. Here we go. It's this one here. This is the operating system. The one that we've downloaded is called, you know, Mr. Unstable and with the day it was released. Now, if you're a little bit cautious or if you're a little bit paranoid about going into this thinking, oh no, I'm going to ruin my Mr. Everything's going to stop working. What you can do, and I'll do it for the sake of this video, you can just name this, I don't know, Mr. Old or whatever you want to call it, you know, original old. Now that won't work. So let, let's say, for example, I left it like that. If I put my micro SD card back in my mister and turned it on, it, it just won't boot because it, it's it's working of this file here. It's just called mister. So what we can do then is if we go to our downloads, let's just rename this to mister. Nothing else, just mister uh, exactly like that. Now what we can do is let's copy this over to our micro SD card. I'm just going to drag and drop it, whatever works for you. And that one's there. Here you go. So now that's gone over uh, to a micro SD card, then we now have the, the, the latest version of the unstable Mr. Operating System. What this will do is this will give us access to unstable cores or cores that require an unstable build. Uh, and it's well worth getting into experimentation. But yeah, like I said, the purpose of this video is so when I'm doing other tutorials, I can just refer back to this and I can save myself a bit of time. And yeah, this video can just be used as a reference to how you can do this. Anyway, guys, if you uh, enjoy this content, a subscription or like is always super duper appreciated. Uh, be freaking awesome to one another. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.